If you have purchased the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 and wondering how to set up the watch, then this video is for you. Before we begin, these are the three apps that you need to download on your smartwatch. The first one is the Samsung Galaxy Wearable app, second one is Samsung Health app and third one is Galaxy Watch 4 plugin. Samsung Wearable is the main app that will be used to manage your watch settings like always on display, fault detection, watch faces and whatnot. Watch 4 plugin app is a companion that will allow the app to communicate with the watch. Samsung Health is where you will find your heartbeat per minute, sleep tracking and other fitness related settings for the Watch 4. I will leave the link for these apps in the description box below. Before we proceed, let me tell you that the Watch 4 only supports Android devices. So if you want to pair it with iPhone, then you won't be able to do that. To get started, you need to open the Galaxy Wearable app first. On the first screen of the app, click on the start button. Now the app will start asking for permission. Make sure you grant the app all the permissions. On the next screen, the app will look for your watch. As soon as it pops on your screen, tap on it. The app will now send a pairing request to your phone. Tap on the pair and connect option. Another pop-up will come onto your screen asking your permission to access your contacts and call history. Make sure to click on the checkbox before proceeding otherwise caller ID and other features won't work properly. On the next screen, the app will ask you to sign in or skip it. I would recommend signing with your Samsung account to get the most out of the watch. If you don't have an account already, then sign up for the same using the create account option on the login page. Once you log in successfully, you will see this getting ready screen on the phone. It can take 2 to 5 minutes so don't panic if you aren't able to use the watch immediately. On the next screen, the app will ask you to sign in or connect your Google account to the watch. It is because the watch is powered by Wear OS so you need a Google account to access the Play Store and download apps on your smartwatch. Once signed in, you can check out some of the recommended apps that you might want to install on your watch. On the next screen, the app will ask you whether you have used this watch before and want to restore the settings. I am going to skip this settings as we are setting up the watch for the first time. However, this can come in handy if you perform a factory reset on your Galaxy Watch 4 in the future. Next you will see the finishing up screen and now your watch is connected. As you can see, Galaxy Watch 4 is now connected with the phone. My watch here is still starting so meanwhile let's check the tips and user manual option available here. Getting around guide will explain how to navigate and use the watch. This is pretty useful for the first time users so do check it out. And your watch is now ready to use. You will need to finish the UI tutorial before you can start using the watch. That's about it folks. Now you are ready to use your Galaxy Watch 4. If you found this tutorial to be useful then don't forget to press the like button. Also consider subscribing as I will be coming out with an in-depth review, hidden tips and more about the Galaxy Watch 4. So that was all for today, see you next time.